Hey, what's up everybody? It's DJ from Priscilla Mooseberger Originals. Now today I have a video for you and every clown should watch this one because it's important. I'm going to teach you how to pick your nose. Okay, not like that. I'm sorry. I'm going to teach you how to pick your clown nose and to make sure it fits properly. It won't fall off during your event or show. Um, make sure it looks good on your face and also fits your makeup design. You don't want to do very little makeup and have a giant nose because it's just not going to look good. So we're going to tie everything together and make sure you pick the right clown nose. Um, today I'm going to talk about our three noses that we carry here at Priscilla Musburger Originals. I'm going to tell you about our Acme noses. I'm going to tell you about the Jim Howe noses. And I'm going to talk about the pro noses and all the ways you can keep your noses on. The first noses that I will be talking about today are our Acme Clown noses. That's these noses right here. They come on a string. Notice my string is not attached. That is because you need to measure it before you just tie a knot in it. So, the best way to do this is first make sure you pick your Acme nose that's going to fit your face. Now, this is our large, and this is what it looks like on me. It's very big, and it's very round, obviously. And it sits nicely on my face, which means it fits my actual nose around the sides. Um, to me, this nose is huge. And this is not a nose that I would pick for my character because it's just too big. You don't want your face to overpower, you don't want your nose to overpower your face, but you do want it to kind of be a focal point, because that is the center, and that's what clowns are recognized by, are our red noses, or whatever color you might be using. So, that would work for me, except it eats my face. The way you tie these is you notice this hole on the outside. First, you want to make sure you can get a measurement. You want to take it around your head, figure out a place that where your string is not up in your eyes. It has room to move down a little bit. There we go. You want it right above your cheekbones. If it is up here, pull it down in the back and that will lower it up, lower it a little bit. You want it nice and snug, but not where you're getting these lines that are cutting in your face. So just nice and snug. That's about right, right there. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to hold my finger there, and with my other hand here, I'm going to take my loose string, I'm going from the outside of the nose through the inside, I'm going to thread it through. This will make sure the knot will be tied on the inside of the nose and not the outside. I'm going to pull that, pull the string here, so this spot is right where that hole is. So. Two inches. That looks good. Right there. Now that's right there, I'm going to hold it from the outside and just pull it around my face. Just like this. Perfect. I'm going to adjust it how I would wear it with my costume. That feels, that feels right. It looks right. It's not cutting into my face. It's nice and snug though. Mm -hmm. The nostrils, I can breathe. The nostril noses are right where my nostrils are, my human nose, so that is good. Now that's on, I'm going to take this without moving that string too much, I'm going to make a loop inside the nose. Now the string is elastic so it stretches. So, now that I got my knot in there, I'm going to put this on again and just make sure that's where I want my nose. Feels comfortable, I can move, 
Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. I can move. Feels comfortable. Not tight. Too tight. It's not cutting into my skin anywhere. I think that's I think that's a good fit. So now that I got that done, I'm going to take my string again and make another knot right next to that. Just to give it double protection. Perfect. Then, for this excess, I'm going to cut it off. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to tuck it inside the nose, because I have room to do that. But you wouldn't cut that excess part off and put your nose on. Just like that. It's fitted nice. It's not coming into my eye, right above my cheekbone here. It's not cutting into my face at all. It's nice and snug. It's not going to fall off. I mean, you can pull it. But it's not going to fall off. It's a good fit. Now, I personally am in a goose clown. I would not want to keep this string white. What you can do is you can color it with a sharpie, or a flesh tone sharpie, or even better, taking your base makeup, your your flesh tone, and putting it right on over the string, and it will blend right in with your makeup. You won't even know. Also, you can use um, a clear elastic string, like what you would get from a craft store or a beading store. There is a different way of tying it. You can't just tie a knot in there. Or you can buy a nose string kit from, um, Pro Nose has one and Jim Howe has one. So those are some options to look into, but the string that the Acme Nose has come on is just fine. It's going to last you. You just need to cover it so you don't have white lines. That's the large size. This one's medium. Now this, if I had to wear this, a string nose, this is the one I would pick. It's a good focal point. It's not eating my face. Um, and it fits my nose properly. It's covered on all the sides, on top. The nostrils are lined up. That's a good fit. Now this is our little nose, the Acme little nose. This one, not a good choice for me. I have this much exposed of my natural nose. It, it just doesn't fit me, fit me. And it's super small. It's like a tip. <laughs> so this is not going to work for me. Um, that might work for you. Now these noses come in one shape, round, and in two colors. We got the hot pink, and then we got the red your traditional red clown nose. So, those are some great options to look into. These are great if you do hospital clowning or caring clowning um, because they're latex free, which a lot of hospitals don't want you going in with a latex nose. So, these are awesome choices for that. You can wear them wherever though, really. There's tons of clowns on the circus with me that wear string noses. Our next nose that we're going to talk about is the Jim Howell nose. Jim Howell has a lot of noses, but the difference between his noses and the pro nose that we will talk about in a little bit here, or these are hollow. Notice the inside, it's just the shell. They're supposed to be filled with your natural nose. So, the way you want to make sure these fit is when you put it on, does it feel like it will stay on or is it falling right off? I can't go do the show with this on without any adhesive or tape. But right now for the movie, I'm talking to you. I'm moving my head and it hasn't fl flown off yet. So this would be a good nose for me. It fits me on all sides. It fits me on the top. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry about that. It fits me on the top. 
It's right against my bridge, and my nostrils again are lined up. This is a good fit for me. I just picked my nose. Now, if your nose ever gets dirty, you can take a baby wipe and just wipe it down gently. It won't hurt it. You don't need to do that every time you wear it, just when it's dirty. So, these can be worn several ways. You can use it with the Jim Hell Putty. This stuff, it's really sticky. <laughs> what you do is you pull it out, you break a little chunk off, you warm it up in your hands. Now this part is very important. Before you do anything with the putty, you want to make sure your hands are completely clean of any makeup, any powder, and any oil. So what you want to do is take rubbing alcohol, pour it on a paper towel, rub it on your hands a little bit, and clean them off. Then like I said, you take it out of here, you break a little piece off, and you start to just apply it here. You want to warm this up in your hands first to get nice and sticky. Once it's sticking to your hands well, you want to put it from here and pull it down to here. Once this stuff is on and it's warmed up, you're going to take it and you're just going to smush it on there. And it will, it will stick. Now the putty is also really good for people that want to wear a larger nose but doesn't have an actual larger nose. You can actually fill the nose in with that and then use it as your sticking agent as well. That's how you would use Jim Hell Putty with his nose. He also has two other nose glues called Jim Hell That and Jim Hell This. Now these are a little different, but they work the same way. What you want to do is you want to take this, there's a little brush inside, and you want to brush some adhesive onto here, onto the inside edge of the nose. So you don't want to put it right here, you want to go in a little bit. Then you're going to take your nose, you're going to push it on there a little bit, pull it off, see the outline, take your glue, and kind of fill that in. You're going to wait a few minutes till that gets tacky, then you're going to hear the two together, and your nose will stick. That's how both of the, that's the concept of both of these glues. Another product that Jim Hell has are his Jim Hell nose tips. Now these, you don't need to worry about the sides because these nose tips literally just sit on the tip of your nose. Just like this. Sorry, I got from the center. Just like that. Just like a little button right there. You want to make sure it sits nice and in the center. You don't want it over here. You don't want it over here. You want it just on the tip, right in the center of your nose. And these can be applied with either adhesives or nose tape, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Um, I'm sure you can use the putty on these. Um, you really don't need to fill them up though, because it just sits on your tip. So you would just put a little bit of putty up after warming it up and put it on there. Now with the putty and that glue, that nose glue, those can be reused a few times. So you just gotta know when it loses its sticky, you have to apply more. All of this information, whenever you buy a Jim Hell nose, comes with this free brochure. It tells you the best way of fitting your nose. It tells you, it gives you a good graph of all the noses you can get. It also tells you about all the nose glues, how to use them, all kinds of good, useful information from our good friend Jim Howe is in this little booklet that you get every Jim Howe order. Also going back to these noses, the Jim Howe no nose, you can uh, modify these if they did not fit. So let's say this nose did not fit, it had a little bit extra here. I love the shape. I could easily take a small scissors and just cut a little bit at a time, cut some of that excess 
latex off there until it fit properly. These noses are very easy to alter to fit your face. Also, if you notice your nose after you've worn your Jim Hell nose for a while and you get like chips on it, um, it's super easy to fix. All you need is uh, red acrylic paint, do a coat, it will cover that and no one will ever know. The last brand of noses that we carry here at Mooseburger Originals are our Pro Noses. These are made by Leanne McBride. And these are your nose that have a glossy finish and they're filled with the foam. Now this is personally a model of the nose that I personally do use with my clown character. But this did not fit me very well at first. Um, well, this is what was happening. You can see that there's a lot of my nose exposed on the sides. So he doesn't recommend to do this, but what I ended up doing was I took out some of the foam. The best way to take out the foam is to use a Dremel tool that will give you a nice, soft, um, even carving out. You don't want to carve too thick or just rip it out because you don't want to rip the actual nose. So I did that on my nose. I also then, to add more room for the bottom, I cut my nostrils and I cut a little bit off here. So now this nose fits like this. It's covering all my sides. It covers on top. My nostrils are lined up. I don't have anything touching right here. It's a very good fit. I can talk like this and it won't fall off. This is what you really want to be able to do is wear your nose without any adhesive and still not have it falling off immediately. I mean, eventually, because it's not here at all, it's going to fly off. So that's kind of how I altered my gym, or my pro nose. <clears throat> You can see that I took some foam out of there with the drum jiggle. Now, Pro Nose, same thing as the Jim Hell Noses. By the way, I forgot to mention this. Any of the Jim Hell Noses or Pro Nose can be worn with a nose string. Um, you just gotta know how to do it in the best placement. And what you would do is you would poke a hole on each side right here, right here. You don't want it on the very edge. You don't want it up here. You want it like right on the side there. You poke a hole and you do it exactly the way we did the Acme nose earlier in the video. Now, Pro Nose has their own nose adhesive. Again, you would take this, you go on the inside edge of your nose, your clown nose right here, you'd apply a layer, you take it, you stick it to your face, you pull it off, and you take the adhesive and you go on that outline. Wait till it gets tacky and stick it on there, and that's how you would stick on your nose using the Pro Nose adhesive. You could also use Spirit Gum, which, same thing, you take it, apply it to the inside edge of the nose, stick it on, pull it off, wait till it got tacky. And then stick it on. When you stick on your clown nose for the last time, you want to really push it on there. Make sure all spots are adhered. Just like that. Also, with the Pro Nose Noses, you can use what we call nose tape. This is the super stick. This is what I use. It comes on a roll. Just like this, you find the edge. And I only put the tape in the spots that really hold, like, where I get maximum coverage. So it's here and here. I cover that edge, and that's where I put my nose tape. Some people put it on here, some people put it on here, some people put it on the bottom. I just put it here and here, and it holds fine. And I can wear that nose 
for hours, take it off, put it back on, and still use the same tape. You don't need to use a new piece every time. Unless you're like really sweating and stuff, then you might need to use a little more. Or you're working on moist clients. Now this is another uh, Pronos tape. This comes in strips. What you do, figure out where you need to put it, cut it, apply it. Um, it has a double stick. It's double stick. So stick one here. Oh, once it's on, pull the backing off. It'll be good. Again, these are some more st uh, strips of tape. They're a little smaller. Um, this is sticky stuff. I have not used this one yet. I use a super stick. So they're all same co same concept. You just gotta find which one works best for you. Pro Nose also has nose tips. You can get them in various colors, various shapes. Right here, we have a heart. Oh, look at that, it's so cute. Oh, heart button. Again, sits right on the tip of your nose. Not here, not here. Right in the center, right on the tip. It's a heart. Jim Howell's nose tips also come in different finishes. Like I showed you earlier, there was a glitter one, you could get a solid red one, you could get a heart. Just need to find which one works best for you. Get them right on the tip. You can put some nose tape in there, just stick it on. You can use any of the adhesives the same way you would do. Just apply some to the inside edge, stick it on, fill it in with the adhesive. Wait till it gets tacky, push back on. You don't need to put any of the adhesives all the way around your nose, just where your clown nose is going to stick. There's no need to have extra adhesive if you're not going to use it. Now, if you need a really strong stick, this is what you want to use. This is Osteban Skin Bond. This is a medical adhesive. Um, and what you do is the same thing. You apply here, here, put it on, pull it off, paint a little bit on your re actual nose, and let it sit for a little bit until it goes clear. It comes up bright white as it gets more of a clear color, translucent color. That's when it's okay to put it on. You do not want to take this stuff and put it on your claw nose, on your real nose, and stick it right on. You'll lose some of your stick, and it's going to burn. There's, um, this is a really strong adhesive, and there's things, um, there's, um, chemicals in there that need to evaporate before you stick it on. So, this is really, really strong stick stuff. This is what I use when I'm doing three shows a day. Now with all these adhesives, there are adhesive dissolvers. After your event, you want to pull your clown nose off. You don't want to just, you want to just work it off. And then you want to take, you're going to have a, a excess adhesive on your nose. You want to use whatever dissolver. If you're using a pro nose glue, you want to use his dissolver. If you're using spirit gum, you want to use their dissolver. If you're using a Jim Howe glue, you want to use his dissolver. And you're just going to take that Pour it on a, a paper towel, you're just going to wipe it off. Just to get all that excess nose stuff off. Don't peel it, you're going to hurt your skin or scratch off a layer of skin and stuff like that. And we don't want that. So use your dissolver just the way you would to dissolve any adhesive. Now, I will say with all your noses, always use a custom uh, uh, adhesive that is designed for prosthetics and clown noses. Do not use Elmer's glue, do not use hot glue, do not use a fabric glue. That stuff is not designed for this. You always want to use a nose adhesive. Now if your nose gets a little dirty, kind of my nose is a little dirty right now, <laughs> sorry, you can take a baby wipe, wipe it off, and that will clean it off without taking off the finish. 
I hope you guys have found this video very helpful when picking your next clown nose. Keep these things in mind, and if you have any questions about any of our noses, anything that you might be concerned about your nose that you might already have, feel free to give, give us a call, shoot us an email, shoot us a Facebook message, because we're here to help you guys. I hope this has helped. Till next time. Bye, guys.